Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Snekato and today I will talk you a little bit about the daily activities that data analysts and scientists do, the skills necessary for these profiles, the average monthly salary in various countries, and the difference between both areas. These terms have taken on a lot of strength in recent years, and it is very common to think that they are the same. However, these two areas, while similar, handle completely different tasks. Let's start with data analysts. They focus on processing and analyze statistically existing databases to find trends and show it in graphs and tables in order to find solutions to current problems with strategic decisions. They are also responsible for creating reports and displaying indicators to achieve objectives. If the company is small, there are times when data collection is also expected. But in large companies, data scientists take care of this and give analysts access to the databases. In general, professionals in this area have knowledge of mathematics, statistics, and programming. The skills required for this job are knowledge in business and management, statistics, and mathematics. They should know how to use Excel, SQL, SAS, R, and Python. They should also have experience in data wrangling and cleaning, besides knowing how to do data visualization. To be hired, it is preferable to have a bachelor's degree in the areas of science, technology, mathematics, or engineering, but it is not absolutely necessary. According to Glassdoor.com, the average monthly salary for a data analyst varies greatly depending on the country. In this graph, you can see some examples such as the USA, the United Kingdom, Japan, South Korea, Lithuania, and Mexico, where the average monthly salaries range from $1,159 US dollars to $5,571 US dollars. I decided to include these countries since most of my English speaking subscribers are from here. But if I did not include your country, please leave it in the comment box so I can take it into account in my next videos. I remind you that you should note that this data is just an average for the countries mentioned before. To have a clearer image for your specific case, you should research the salary ranges in your state or city. Also, I recommend you to take into account the career you graduated from and the position level you are applying to, such as entry or senior level. Now we can move on to data scientists. We have mathematical, statistical, computer science, and programming knowledge. They are responsible for designing data processing models, creating algorithms, and predictive models to find trends and behavior patterns. In general, the area of data science is more technical in computer science and information technologies, while data analysis is more directed towards the areas of statistics and business. The skills required for this job are creating and managing predictive models and algorithms, having experience in machine learning, Python, R, SAS, Scala, and SQL, managing on structure and structured data, and then cleaning them up, and also being an expert in statistics and mathematics. To apply to a position as a data scientist, most employers require you to have a graduate degree in computer science, economics, mathematics, or physics. But nowadays there are also graduate degrees in data science. According to Glassdoor.com, the average monthly salary for a data scientist also varies greatly depending on the country. In this graph, you can observe the same examples of the USA, the UK, Japan, South Korea, Lithuania, and Mexico, where the average monthly salaries range from $1,428 US dollars to a whooping amount of $9,429 US dollars. 
And as I mentioned before, it is important that you keep in mind that this data is just an average for these countries. To have a clear image for your specific case, you should research the salary ranges in your state or city, the career you graduated from, and the position level you are applying to, such as entry or senior level. When we compare both monthly wages for data analysts and data scientists, we can see that in general, data scientists tend to earn more, with the exception of Lithuania. Is there any Lithuanian out there that could help me explain this, please? Anyway, in cases like the UK or USA, the difference between these two monthly wages is quite big, especially in the USA where the wage of a data scientist almost doubles the one of a data analyst. If, after looking at these numbers, you decide to move to a different country and start working there, consider that these amounts are not including the cost of living of each country. It might be that, bearing in mind the cost of living, your purchase power might be similar or even worse to the country that you want to move in. So research truly and wisely before making any rash decision. In the following diagram that I got from ironhack.com, we can easily observe the difference between data analytics and data science. There are three main areas that are computer science, mathematics and statistics, in addition to the business to business experience. The area of data science is a combination of these three areas, while data analysis is just the combination of business experience and mathematics and statistics. In conclusion, the difference is that the data scientist creates the questions, while the data analyst finds the answers to these questions. Thank you a lot for getting to the end of this video. Leave in the comments which profession you prefer, data analytics or data science and why. Do not forget to like the video and share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Bye.